hey everyone welcome back to my youtube channel it's your girl Jeanette Young hope you are well I'm just on my way to the barber shop I haven't been to the barbers in about three and a half four months obviously because of the lockdown so it feels really good to be going to the barber shop and getting that sharp trim my son was doing it previously and yes he did a good job but nothing beats going to the barber and just getting that fresh fresh cut so I'm on my way there. So today I'm going to be doing a vlog for you. Many of you have asked how I do my makeup and how I create my hairstyles. So I'm going to be showing you that today. I'll also be videoing my preparation of me getting ready for my styling workshop. I've got a styling Zoom workshop today and giving you a sneak preview of my workshop. Um, I also want to just say, don't you love my mask? My masks are made by my friend called Paula Powell. I'll put her details at the bottom of the screen. I absolutely love the African print. So if you like it, please purchase and support. All donations will be going towards a good cause, to a charity or to a house that deals with vulnerable children. But anyway, let me start my day. And as you can see, I'm at my barber shop for the first time after like three and a half months. So yeah, I'm now going inside. Look, he's waiting for me at the door. Hi, Darren. Hello, what are you about to do? I just need to take your temperature. Make okay. Sure you don't have no fever. Make sure I don't have no fever. No. <laughs> okay. Yep, you're good to go. Right. So how? So how do we do this? So is that good? Oh, yeah. Now, I'm good to enter the shop. That's how Darren's doing it. And he's also got his PPE. So that's his front page, which would have all my DLs. This is to serve your choice. PPE record. Yeah. Is that Belinda? Yeah. Hi, Belinda. How are you? <laughs> this is Darren's wife. I'm good, thank you. Now he's going to sanitize my hands. Yep. Oh, I can do it this way. Woo! I've got to stop the video now. <laughs> so as you can see, I'm cleaning the haircut. So Darren is just showing me his disposable aprons, which is brilliant. Yeah. So Darren is going to be using this clip from me. And he said this one's gonna get me real bored. Yeah. If you know me well, you know that I like my sir to be really bald. Because it grows back so quickly. So look, mm -hmm. I moisturize my skin with E45 moisturizing cream and then I apply the pore professional primer because it makes my skin look like porcelain before I add my foundation. I'm using Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Foundation because it gives me such great coverage. You'll see this when I apply it to my skin. You may be thinking, why is Jeanette doing a voiceover? I'm doing a voiceover because I forgot to turn the mic on before starting my makeup video. So because I didn't want to lose the footage, I decided to do a voiceover so that I could still use it. So please enjoy and have a laugh at the same time as well. I like to add my foundation to my eyelids as well because I just think it brightens up my eyes, especially as for this look, I am not wearing any eyeshadow. I then apply 
my Fenty Beauty Concealer in colour 340. Forgot to mention that the colour that I use for my foundation is 320. Usually they say go lighter, but I actually prefer to go darker. It's just a thing. I just like the overall finish. So let me know your thoughts. I then bake my face with this Laura Mercier translucent loose powder because I think it gives me such a beautiful matte finish. Moving on to my eyebrows. I use the Anastasia Dip Brow Promade because I just think it defines my eyebrows beautifully. And the color that I use is a dark brown. I then outline my eyebrows with my foundation just to give it that polished, sharp look. So let's have a little bit of a laugh. What I'm actually saying, not word for word, is that I do a little cheat at the top inner edges of my eyebrows where I add foundation and then I smudge it in with a cotton bud to give me that kind of ombre effect. At this stage, I dust off the excess baking powder. It's blusher time. So I use a MAC blusher and the color that I use is called Peaches. And it just gives me that nice warmth coloring to my face. I just love the orangey, peachy undertones absolutely love this blusher next i'm using this mac mineralized bronzer the color that i'm using is called cheeky bronze and i absolutely love it i use it as a highlighter along my cheekbones and along my nose bridge and the tip of my nose I just love that it gives me a beautiful sun-kissed glow. I like to apply my mascara before sticking on my eyelashes because I think it gives my eyelashes a more intense effect. The mascara that I'm using is by Maybelline and it's their Rocket Voluminous range. I am using a vegan cruelty free eyelashes and they are absolutely stunning. They're from a brand called Jamiri and I actually buy them off of Amazon and it's a pack of five for only $6.99. You need to try them out guys and you can use them over and over again. They last quite a long time.
I add my eyeliner to the top edge of my eyelid for that extra intensity. My eyeliner is by Sleek and the color is called Chocolate. I love Lady Danger by MAC. I just love when my lips pop. I love this Morphe setting spray because the spray is nice and light, giving your face a beautiful finish. Now onto my hair. I'm gonna show you how I do my fabulous bun. Firstly, I put it into a ponytail. Pull it slightly tight. Then after I do that, I just, I just wipe the makeup off of my hairline with a baby wipe. I then use this edge control. I use two edge controls actually, cream of nature and this gummy. And I'm just applying my edge control to my edges, as you can see, to get them nice and flat, especially as you can see that I've got quite a lot of regrowth. So the edge control really does help to neaten those edges, especially when your hair needs redoing like mine. So guys, do you want me to give you the biggest joke? So imagine I'm doing all that talking at the beginning of the video, not the, well, not when I do the intro when I'm going to the barber shop, but when I start my makeup and do all that talking to only realize at this point, this point where you hear me talking, that the mic was not on the camera. You know those moments when you're like, Ugh. But you know what, these things happen. So that's why you heard me doing the, the voiceover when I started my makeup. I did a voiceover so that obviously I wouldn't waste that footage. But yeah, can you believe it? Anyway, we're here now. It's a vlog, it's fun. You know, these things happen. And you know, I've got jokes for you all the time. And that's what makes this whole vlogging experience, YouTube video experience great because you can just be real to your viewers and just be who you are. So I got to the point where um, I think I added the edge control to my edges to flatten them down. I would usually sometimes just tie a headscarf around my head, but because I'm doing an up style where the, the bun will be kind of like overlapping onto my forehead, it doesn't really matter. So how do I start? So I put this, into a bun or I put my hair into an elastic band as you saw me do and then what I usually do I just get half the hair half of my braids <clears throat> yeah that's half get half of my braids and I twist it Then I, after I've twisted it, I just form a bun, like you can see. So I form a bun, put the ending of it like that. So that's my first initial bun. There you go. And I twist it and twist it, twist it, wrap it and twist it on itself till it forms this lovely bun. Look at that. And then what I do just to secure it into place then I just add one bobby pin to the back of the bun to hold it into place. Then I get this side of my hair, which is the other half of my ponytail. I split it into two. And then with this one, I then twist this back piece. So this hairstyle that you see me doing is the hairstyle that I had in my previous um, video. I think it was my Zara shopping haul in Tryon. 
So this is the hairstyle that I had in that video. Many people keep asking me, Jeanette, show us how you create your hairstyle. So as I go along, I will show you how I create each one. And then after I do that, I then form another bun, like so. Let me get closer. And I tie the end on itself. There you go. So can you see? That's two in place and then all I'll do, I'll get another bobby pin and hold to secure. Now I get another bobby pin to secure that one into place. Then the last one. You see how simple this hairstyle is to do, but it looks so effective. And after I've twisted it, I get to the end finally these braids are so long I then twist this one into a bun wrap it into a bun wrap it on itself like so so you might have to just twist it up a bit more sometimes you have to kind of to get the shape you want. The good thing is, is because the twist isn't tight, you can kind of manipulate the bun to kind of form the shape that you want. Shape that kind of looks great on your head and goes with your face. So don't be afraid to just manipulate the twist to make it suit your face or your, the shape of your face. So create another bun, wrap it round on itself, as you can see wrapped it around on itself then all i'm going to do is now pin this one make sure everything's tucked away nicely i might pull that away i might just leave that end out for a bit then i kind of play with it to make sure before i even pin it down that i'm happy of happy with where it's positioned and yeah I think I'm happy with how this one's positioned like that so then I'll get a bobby pin and just start pinning the edges of this last one so that it lays flat against my cane rows see just going along the bottom edge of the my bun then what I do with the end hair, I'll just tuck it all into place. Now, I would usually show you the back, but unfortunately, the back of my hair is not looking great in terms of my cameras are a little bit messy. But I, I'm sure you get the gist of the hairstyle, see? Tuck that in to place. Oh, look at that, everyone. Look at that, guys. It looks gorgeous, I must say. Ooh. then just start pinning everything into place once you're happy with the shape sometimes I manipulate it because sometimes I like a bit of height at the top so I'm just getting my bobby pins and securing everything into place. So there you have it, that's how I put my bun together. I hope you enjoyed, I hope you liked. Just flick up my baby hairs. You can secure that. I'm so loving this. I am really loving this look. Oh yeah, it's beautiful. 
sometimes if I want it higher, you can just play with the twist a little bit just to give you a bit of formation. So I think I'll add a bit of height there. And I think we're good to go. Love it. So there you have it, guys. You have, I've done you, I've shown you how I do my neutral makeup on my face and how I put my bun together. I have quite a few variations of how I do buns or updos with my braids, but as we go along, I will show you and continue to show you how they are done. I'll do a few more once I redo my cane rows and my braid so that it's looking fresh. But yeah. Okay. Okay. Mwah. So it's time for me to get ready. And um, yeah, I've just got to decide which dress I want to wear. The dresses are both the same style, but they're different colors. I'm gonna try both of them on and see what color I'm feeling the most. And then, um, yeah, you will see at the end which one I decide to choose. So these are my two dresses, the green or neon green ruched one and the red floral patterned one. Which one do you think I'm gonna choose for today? Which one? So guys, this is me wearing the red dress, like I said. I see the green one in the background waiting for me to try it on. So yeah, this is the red one. Um, just show you the neckline somehow, some way. See, that's the neckline. V neckline, nice puff sleeves. Oh yeah, tell me what you think. Gorgeous. You can see the fabulous red one sitting over there. I like the red one though, because it gives me kind of that vintage vibes, especially with that floral print. But I'm feeling this neon green one as well. Gorgeous. Love the gauging, the ruching. I love the ruching. Puff sleeves, a nice V neckline. Yeah, I'm feeling this as well. Anyway, you will see which one I decide to wear shortly. So hey guys, as you can see, I decided to wear my neon green ruched puff sleeve midi dress. I'm not sure if you guessed that's the one that I was going to wear, but I just, that's the mood and the vibe that I was feeling. I was feeling bright and vibrant. I just love neon colours anyway. But I'm now going to be jumping onto my Zoom meeting to start my styling workshop. I'm gonna be joining the host who is Marcia Dixon. She is actually hosting my workshop today. So yeah, we're gonna have a fabulous time. As I said, I'll give you a, a, a little sneak peek. And then after that, I will end my vlog. I'm gonna do my closing now, but I hope you enjoyed me showing you how I um, apply my makeup and how I create this fabulous masterpiece yes darling so until my next youtube video i'm gonna say bye for now thank you everyone for joining i really do hope you enjoyed this workshop and it's really just to give you an overview about how to dress your body shape allowing you to understand how to put together a capsule wardrobe and just to enable you to be a bit more intentional in regards to the way you dress especially if you are a person of influence or even if you're not it is said that when you look great you feel great as well and i'm a firm believer of it because i live by it myself so i'm going to start my presentation and i hope you enjoy it. i'm just going to share the screen so here we go so styling workshop host is marcia dixon so in this first workshop as i said we'll be looking at how to dress your body shape and two, how to create a capsule wardrobe. So how to dress your body shape. Light bulb moment. You will learn about the different types of body shapes, discover what body shape you are and understand what style of clothing complements your body shape. Knowing your body shape is key to successful dressing. So the first one is an apple shape. 
The second one is a pear shape. The third one is hourglass. The fourth one is rectangle slender. And the fifth one is inverted triangle. So it's not about size, it's about shape. So what I always say to my clients is about balance and proportions. Now, everybody wants to be an hourglass. That's the perfect shape. That, that's the body that's quite balanced. So that means that your shoulder width and your hips are the same width. And then you've got a cinched in waist. People will say a Coca-Cola bottle shape. That's the perfect body shape. So in regards to all the other body shapes, we're always trying to achieve uh, hourglass body shape. So this lady here is an inverted triangle. And the reason why she's been dressed smartly is because her waist has been cinched in, but what actually gives her the balance is the peplum hem on the bodice top. It's creating a nice hourglass silhouette, even though she's an inverted triangle. So does image matter? The styling of your clothes plays an important part in your appearance, but it's your personality that acts as a catalyst and pulls your whole look together. Your personality dictates your style. And I always have a saying that says, you wear the clothes, the clothes don't wear you. So it's your personality that really pulls your looks and your image together.